aka Joey Dove. We're going to talk about the mob today. That name was given to him after conviction that later was overturned by the U.S. Court of Appeals. I'll tell you a little bit more about how he got that nickname. <laughs> it's actually pretty And when I did finally go with the mob, it was for money. It was for greed. It was for women. Cartel it was for got me working cars. for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin. They hit have the talent and they no really don't tell the stories behind each character. God, and that's my biggest thing is I want to tell the story behind each character because I'm not going to lie, man. As a kid, this, this, this is what I want to see. I used to hear about it in songs. I used to hear about it in songs. I used to hear about it in songs. Be proud of me and stay here. It was don't always leave. Keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing. I went back to prison. Got my hair right. Got my brain right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right. I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone. I ain't never gonna miss him. From wrong to strong. Stay true to the vision. What's up, wrong strong family? If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell. If you are part of my Wrong and Strong family, welcome back. Thank you. We got a good one today. We're going to talk about one of the top mob bosses that existed. Joey Dove's, Joey Dove's conviction was considered one of the most big blows and significant victories against the mob. Cicero was Joey Dove's center of operation and headquarters, was uh, the town hotel. It's on Cermak Road. Now, that hotel goes way back to the Al Capone days. Uh, that was actually his headquarters also. A lot of shootings took place in this hotel. <laughs> One was in 1926 by the Northsiders, hunting Al Capone down. Eight carloads of Northsiders drove there and let loose with their Tommy uh, uh, machine guns. It is said that I think they collected over a thousand rounds that poured into the hotel. That hotel was actually burned down to the ground shortly after state agents raided it for exotic stuffed birds after uh, Joey Doves had bought it and, and ran it and everything after um, you know he uh, got arrested. But this is what I mean. Cicero has a long history of mobsters, the mob, uh, gambling, prostitution, all that stuff. And just like I've always said, Chicago's been a gangster city for many, many years. I mean, Cermak, back in the days when the mob ran it and they had the games and they had all that stuff, it was actually called the Strip before they made the Strip in Las Vegas. We had the Strip on Cermak. Uh, and I'm going to get into that a little bit more on future videos. He was born in Melrose Park, Illinois. Yes, I say Illinois with an S. It's Illinois. I like to say Illinois. <laughs> December 7th, 1907. His parents were Sicilian immigrants. During the uh, years, he rose through the ranks of the outfit, operating several gambling establishments in Cicero. When I, when I first... Moved out to Cicero when my dad first moved out to Cicero and I would go visit. Actually, Cicero at the time was still mostly all Italians. Uh, all my friends that I hung out with during the weekend when I was over there were all Italians. So I, I got to see firsthand all these older guys sitting in front of the coffee shops, the pizza parlors and stuff like that. Um... You know, having meetings, talking about, you know, business and all this stuff. And it's crazy how you grow up seeing this stuff. And, I mean, at the time you think that it's it's pretty, pretty gangster, pretty cool. You see these old guys calling shots and everything. But, you know, that's that's what I grew up around. And, and this is why I started... You know, learning more about it, um, I guess you could say doing my research, looking at stuff and, you know, wanting to educate people on the lifestyle that I grew up in. Um, 
Under his leadership, the Chicago outfit actually grew stronger ties to the Las Vegas casinos and in 1986, he was convicted of scheming profits from the Las Vegas casinos. It said it was $2 million, but I think it was way more than that. I mean, those casinos make millions and millions of dollars. It said that um, he received 20, 20, 28 years in federal prison. Joseph Augusto from the uh, Kansas City crime family testified against him and all the other bosses. After everyone was in prison, two brothers were beat to death in Bensonville, Illinois, and were buried in a cornfield in Indiana. And that scene is in a movie. Do you guys know what movie that is? Come on, you guys have to know. If you follow American mobsters, crime, all that stuff, you gotta know what that, what that scene is and what movie. He served 10 years of his sentence and on January 19, 1996, Joey Dubs was released from prison. Only a year and a month later, on February 22nd, 1997, he passed away. Natural causes. He is actually buried at the Queen of Heaven Cemetery. It's actually a really nice place there. I've been there. There's a lot of, a lot of my friends are buried there. And there's actually a total of six Chicago mobsters, like made men, buried there that later on... I'll talk about more in future videos. Joey Dove had several nicknames. His original one actually was Joey O'Brien. At the time, he was a boxer, and Irish boxers at the time got paid more on the fighting cards. So he picked the Irish name that, you know, would get him paid the most. And that was actually his last known real job before he started working as a driver for the outfit. Joey Dove came after... The FBI agents in Kansas stopped him when he was coming back from a hunting, uh, I guess, camping trip or whatever you want to call it. And they discovered 563 frozen doves in his trunk. I guess, you know, it's, it was a, uh, a law back then. You couldn't have that many doves or whatever. But it was like the game fishing Whatever. You know, you know, the feds, if they can't get you on nothing, one way or another, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna mess with you. They're gonna fuck with you. They're gonna try they're gonna try anything to try and get you on something. Because that's just how they work. They're always gonna try and get you, especially if you're smart, how Joey was and just you know, uh yes, he ended up doing some time, but I mean he owned a golf course. He owned clubs in Cicero. He, his family's pretty much set for life. And that's what a lot, a lot of people don't understand is the biggest, the biggest trick of all, the best one that the mob did was actually disappearing. But did they really disappear? They own real companies making legit money now and that's the thing the two brothers that were beaten to death in Bensonville the film casino was based on the Chicago outfits ties to Las Vegas casinos this is the actor that played our guy Joey Doves yeah my name is JC. I am Wrong to Strong. This is for entertaining and learning purposes. I am not glamorizing in no way or form being a mobster, being a gangbanger, being a cartel member. In no way or nothing am I trying to glamorize it. All I'm giving you is information so you can learn from my mistakes and actually learn some history because whether you like it or not, it is history of being an American. It is part of our lives, it is in movies, it is in every newscast you could possibly look up, and it, it is the way that it is. So, you know, I get a lot of uh, messages about how, why do I still talk about prison? Why do I still talk about my gang life? Why do I still talk about cartel members and, and mobsters and all this? And it is not my fault that I grew up in this environment and this is what I learned to do. With time I've changed and I've grown up 
and I've learned that doesn't benefit me in no way or form that I spent most of my life incarcerated. So I do this so somebody could watch it, learn, and actually say, oh, that guy changed his life. I'm not going to go that route. All right, my name is JC. I am Ron Strong. Remember, give somebody a hug. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane and always live savage. You have one life to live, but if you live it right, that's all you need. My name is JC.